Hi, boys and girls. This book is called Nina, Jazz Legend and Civil Rights Activist Nina Simone. And this is written by Alice Breer Hakat and illustrated by Bruno Lance. So here we go. Go to sleep, my precious one. Day is done and night is near. When you wake, you'll see the sun wishing you for a star to steer. And this says it's a lullaby sung by singer songwriter and civil rights activist Nina Simone to her daughter. Dream, my baby, dream until you spread your wings. Hey, my child, my sweet child, you are having a hard time falling asleep tonight, so listen to my story. It starts like stories often do with a baby wrapped in a white sheet and her mother smiling at her. The little baby was black. The little baby was me. I don't remember that, of course. My first childhood memory came a little bit later. I must have been about three years old. I thought the piano looked like there were 52 white teeth and 36 black teeth trapped in the keyboard. The black keys were smaller. The white keys are whole notes and the black keys are flats or half notes, my teacher explained. I asked why. Because that's just the way it is. Yes, that's just the way it was. White was whole, black was half. It was that way everywhere and for everyone. I could have held it against people, or worse, I could have believed I was worth less than other people. Black people were nothing but half notes on a huge ivory keyboard. But no, I did not agree with this. The notes had to mingle and dance together in the air so these lies would disappear. Music has no color. In music, there is only one rhythm, only one heart. Ba-boom, ba-boom. One heartbeat per second, the same rhythm for everyone. Standing on the bus with my eyes closed, I reminded myself of this. Oh, I love that picture. Years, the years went by. I played Mozart, Leitz, Beethoven, Chopin, and Debussy. We, I played all the important men in powdered wigs from past centuries. I was talented. People told me so. When I was 12 years old, our church asked me to give a performance. Mom sewed a beautiful white dress with pleats and pretty ribbons. God knows she was proud. Her daughter was giving a concert. My mom, my sweet mom, she sat in the front row with her radiant smile. Then white people arrived. She had to get up. I squeezed my eyes tight so I could listen to my dreams dance in the air. But there was nothing, nothing except silence and injustice. So I refused. Right there in front of the black and white people, I didn't care. The only noise I heard was my heart beating, and it was beating for my mother. It was her right to be in the front row. So mom sat back down. She wasn't smiling anymore. And my fingers were trembling with anger, but the concert was beautiful. Hey child, my sweet child, later, much later, in fact, you were already born. A man arrived on our TV screens, on our radios, in our newspapers, and he said, I have a dream. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream. He believed in it and people followed him. It says, decent housing now, jobs for Jobs for all now, equal rights now, voting rights now, decent pay now, young, gifted, and black. I think this is Nina. Martin's dream was my symphony. Black and white people could come together in the big dance of life. Hey, child, my sweet child, sometimes it seems as if that dream came true, but the dream is fragile. You have to take care of it. Dream, baby, dream, until you spread your wings. Lee and I really like in that book how she compares the the keys on the keyboard to um, the black and white people living together. That was a great story. Hope you guys liked it.